nation of Israel. If you believe that, can you shout amen? I've seen too many supernatural things. I've just, I mean, amen. We're We've just to seen too many things happen in the name of Yeshua that, you know, how do you explain it other than there's something going on? So that's the conundrum I find myself. Here, let me present this way. In every religion, you have people, and I've met them in the Philippines, who meet the Virgin Mary. Almost on a daily basis. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. And we came out of yeah, Catholicism, so yeah. I understand. Yes. You know that. And they're having miracles in Manila. And I remember in, in Sao Paulo, same thing. Miracles in the names of the saints. On St. Catherine's, on Mount Sinai. If it's the name of Earth. In all these religions, what we find, it means it would be brilliant if only one religion was producing miraculous experiences. Yes. Wouldn't yes. it be nice? And that's why the Torah tells us in, in Deuteronomy 13 that if someone comes along and sign, wonder, but the message is different. Yes. Don't listen to that yes. person. God is saying, You're right. no matter what personal revelation you have, right. if the message contradicts Torah, get away from him. I didn't send him. He's a false prophet. Right. That's, good. That's good. So <laughs> That's good. So the thing is, it's true. There are people who are very committed to Oh, Hanuman on Bali, oh, the monkey god, oh, they'd have miracles. But if it's not Torah, then we, uh, then we, that's we walk away from it. So, I hear you. And, and two is that they can't, the track is there cannot be personal revelation that overrides the scripture. Has to be the so it will always have to go back. That's what Judaism is about. Judaism Torah, is I mean, Torah. not. Other nations. Shaul, not Bereshit, not... It has to go back to Torah. Right. Yes. It yes, has to go back to the original. So that's really why... You know, that's the message of the Jewish faith. That's good. You know, that, I, know that you, I know that you love Hashem very much. You've come a long way. Mm -hmm. Arizona, you came 8,000 miles to come here to this, this place that... <laughs> that is just the centerpiece of sanctity. It's the. It's not Sedona, Arizona, the fake Jerusalem. <laughs> you know about that. Yes, huh? <laughs> that whole vortex. <laughs> right. Where right. People are there and they're humming over a triangle, and they are getting it. I mean. I have never been more impressed with personal revelation than I did in the time I spent in Sedona. Okay. I have people seeing things and feeling things, and, but it's not of Hashem. It's not. That's why I always have to go back. And one other thing is, let me suggest this. It's true that we have Look who's here. <laughs> the sweetest people in the world are here today. Wow. He's a very, very sweet man from Arizona. So what we will do is say, to be a servant of God and say, you know, God, I'm only doing, I've had all these miracles in my life and all these experiences and I've been high on this and low on that, and, but I, I'm going to just subordinate all that to you. I'm going to just bow before you and not, if, like, if the Trinity of any version was in Tanakh, I'd be interested right now. If it's said anywhere in the Jewish scriptures, if it's said in Leviticus that you should eat the body and drink the blood of the Messiah, I'd be in church right now. Just one verse. I'd be there. We're not, we're not crazy. <laughs> we just want the truth. Now, if God believed, if it was part of his salvation plan, if we're supposed to eat the body of the Messiah, and that's all over the place, from 1 Corinthians right to the Gospels, we do it, but the, the, it, it just the signatures don't match. I mean, there's nothing remotely resembling that. Moreover, human sacrifice is an, an abomination. It's not like something, it's never, never engaged that. And we have no text that describes the Messiah dying for our sins, and by believing in him, you would be saved. If you don't believe in him, you would be lost. We have nothing about him rising on the third day. Paul says it's in the scripture in 1 Corinthians 15 that there's nothing like that in fact. And if there were, I'd be going to church right now. We prepare the way. We prepare the way. We 
So what happened to these beautiful Christians that are here is these are, these are beautiful people, but it's all stripped. They get fulfillment cards. This is where Jesus is fulfilled, and, and, they get, and they're out of context. And rather than reading through Jeremiah, they know very specific passages, but they're out of context. They're out of context. Wow, it could be so much trouble. So, um, so that's Isaiah 3. Isaiah is speaking about... The, I, I go over to Christians sometimes, I'm not asking you, but I, uh, what does it say in Isaiah 52? And they say, no, I have to look at the Bible. And what does it say in 54? And let me look it up. But why? So it has this, this knowledge that's so, it's just 53, but nothing that surrounds it. And that is going to get everybody in a lot, a lot of trouble. And that's what the Jewish people now are also, in a sense, I, rising up to our mandate. Our job is to bring in the non-Jews, to bring in the Goyim, the nations of the world. We're done with the persecution. Yes. There, there, there's so much love now coming to us. He set you in the land. Yes, he set us in the land. Never again, Jeremiah good, 31. Good, good. So now we're rising up to say, you know what? You're not a second-class citizen. You're a child of God. You're created in the image of God. We want you back to Torah. We want you home. We used to be scared of you guys. You guys used to scare us to pieces. We're not scared anymore because we know you're with us. Amen. Now that we, we don't have to be shaken from you, we'd like to have a little talk with you. Because we've been holding on to your bank account for you all these years. We've been invested in, for you all these years. Do you want to buy in now? We've been holding this portfolio of you for 2,000 years. We were a little scared, I confess, but we've been holding on to this portfolio, always depositing for you, and your portfolio kept doubling in value. And here we are, a rise to shine, your light is coming we're right there now. It's right at the edge. Do you want to join us? We'd like you to. Would you like to come home? We're holding out our shirt tails for you. Grab, that's what we're saying. That's the message. Just for this event. Perfect. <laughs> Is it possible that you have Jewish ancestors? I don't. I just found out before we came over, looking at my background, that I had a great great grandfather on my grandmother's side. His name is Yochanan. It sounds really true. Um, right. Maybe I just look, I, I don't know, I'm not hearing voices. Or, but maybe you should look a little bit, both of you, into here. Because Europe is just one big battlegrounds, one big yeah. cemetery, an enormous amount of. Just look into that, but I, I encourage you to. Don't stop the journey. No. Go back to Europe. <laughs> we're, we're not, let me say this, my dear brother. So we don't want donations. We, we want you to bless Israel because not because we're blessed, but because it brings blessings on you. I believe. So I, w I would love to study Torah with you guys. Oh come on! Oh, I know, I know, but this is this is the point. I know that we had weird thoughts about non-Jews, but I know that people who are maybe non-Jews, I'm not convinced of that, feel that, well, maybe we, you're not important enough. You're just a Gentile. You're just a, a goy. We don't feel that way at all. We've been totally mischaracterized in the Book of Acts as people who will not sit with Gentiles, won't eat with them, won't study. And it's not a, that's, it's, it's, it's a mischaracterization. And people who are not Jewish really think that we we want you to know that you're creating the angel of God. Each one of you has a neshama. It's a part of from above. And our job is to be an early guy and to be like the nations. We want you home. Now, would you do this One should to touch nothing world. unclean, just wash yourself of all that stuff. Alex. Because even though you quit smoking a few years ago, you, you know, the, some of the clothes still, right the tobacco right smell is still there. You get rid of all that, Box all that stuff, Check wash that, that all away. So I would, I would very much enjoy studying time with you in your shrine, just the three of us. In this audience, people who have partnered with this vision, for over 25 years. We thank God for that. Welcome home. They're sitting here today, and thank every you. month they believed that this moment would come. Cool. Would you become a partner and join us in this vision? Give it I want to ask this of you. Would you 
Would, would you consider saying this tomorrow with me? Yes. Would you do that with me? So, do you have a prayer book on there? I think I have like the little pockets thing. Kind of you know, so let's do it together. I have this. That's all. Well, we'll do it. So, Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kavod Machiso Leolom Hered. The Yahavta Ace of Melacha, the Cholavav Chov, the Chomash Kohomo Dekho, the Hayu had the Varma Ilasha, no Himitsava, Hayom, Halo Vaso, the Shimant Mubanaka, the Barta Bomb, the Shift of Vaisaho, the Lacta Hava Dekho, the Shah Kohobu Kunaho, the Shatum Osai Dekho, the Hayu of Fosbin Neho, who sat on the Zos Visako Vishara. We've had over now we only know the first part. Yeah. So 12 what was just the next? You should love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. And you should take these right words. I was at the back translator because the Hebrew is my first language. Yeah. So it's weird. Okay. Uh, so, so, so you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And these words, that I command you this day, should be on your mind. And you should teach your children. And you should tell them both when you're in your house and when you are going on the road. When you lie down and when you rise up, and you should bind them on your arm and um, on the front that's between your eyes. And you should write them on a mezuzah on the doorway of your home. There it is, so it's just a continuation of Deuteronomy 6. Adon Olah, Asher Malach, Beterem Kol, Yetzir Nivra, Let Nasa, Bechev Tzokor, Azai Melech, Azai Melech, Shemu Nikra. ואחרי כבלות הכל